Tonight is the launch of a game we've been working on called GAA Fun and Run. If you have a child who doesn't fit into the mainstream category of activities, who needs a little bit of extra attention, it's very difficult to get sporting opportunities for them. Not everybody will play to the highest level, but everybody wants to take part. And this fun and run concept fills the needs for all of that. I have a child with special needs, with autism, and her role in the GA family wasn't as clear to me and the pathway as is clear for underage hurlers and footballers. So we couldn't see where she would fit into a game. If she wanted her to play hurling and football, I said, look, really, is, that's not possible. So we'll, we'll come up with a new game. And that's, that's where fun and run effectively came out of. I did a course in community coaching to see where we could develop this a little bit further with the sole viewpoint in mind of how could you get one hour's fitness training for my daughter in a GAA club setting with a game at the end. And there's a great sense of excitement, there's a great buzz about it because this fun and run is an opportunity to deal with the fitness and health issue as well. So we have rounders based game, fielding team, and a batting team. In this situation, the ball is on a tee, so it can be played with a hurl, or it's on a kicking tee, so it can be played with a football. So again, both elements of Gaelic games are in it. You hit the ball off the tee in the hurling element, drop the hurl, you run around the bases. If you do one full lap, you get a point. In the meantime, all of your friends who are waiting to step up to the mark to play the game, they are on the bases. They're not standing in a stationary queue. That doesn't work for children. Each base has an exercise. Flip the base over has a wheelchair exercise, so we're aiming again for inclusivity. All the time the children are moving on those bases. If they all move on the bases, that team is awarded an extra point. If they are stationary and not participating, they don't get that point. They hit the ball out to the fielders. The fielders, each fielder has to pass the ball to each other. Every single person has to touch the ball. There are many people for different reasons who aren't able perhaps to participate in the primary sports of GAA but they'll take part in this or maybe an old fella like me who isn't able any longer to go out there and play midfield for my club but I'd enjoy what's happening here, a combination of rounders and football and hurling and a bit of crack and I'll still feel that I'm doing my bit. We always say we are a community based organisation but let's spread that a little bit wider to those that are just outside the playing population. It's a great idea to bring sport to a wider audience and you know, be totally socially inclusive. The GA I think recognises that we need to spread to those ethnic communities and give them more maybe social outlets within the community and attract them into actually playing our games and I think that's the future. And this would be one of the menu of offerings that we would have in primary schools. And what we would be saying to schools, principals in particular and teachers, can you use these to ensure kids get an hour a week of model to vicos activity? Here we have a mainstream organisation like the GA thinking outside the box in relation to providing sports and activities. So this fun and run is a very exciting project and I'm absolutely thrilled about it. I'm delighted. <laughs> I'm sure the people that partake in fun and run, please God, over the next 10 years can look back and say it has made a difference to their everyday lives, to their physical and mental well-being, and that they make a lot of contacts and a lot of friends from it for, for life. Yeah!